They come in the morning when I was coming here. I was telling Governor Wike that I can imagine what will be happening going into your head. How am I going to compete? What am I going to do next? But like I always say, there's always room for improvement. Just continue from where you stopped. We are here, Your Excellency. Let me first thank you and the good people of River State for the honor of inviting us. I'm here with the Vice Presidential Candidate of Labour. We thank you most sincerely for a larger accommodation. You do not need to invite us, but you invited us. I thank you. And I feel especially honored for coming here for the second time for commissioning. I'm sincerely grateful. Nobody in this country can doubt your performance. Anybody who does so does not admit what is good. You've worked for your people. You've worked for Nigeria. And you've done everything that is anybody could achieve. Most importantly, you have remained consistently consistent in positions you've taken. That is the most important thing. What is lacking in your excellency in our country today is character, competence, and capacity. In all this, you've shown it as a state government. And I'm sure it will continue in the incoming government. I'm not saying, like I said freely, I join you when you say whoever is going to come after you will face a daunting task of improving from where you stop. Presidency, I assure you, I will not be talking for a long time. One thing you said that is everybody should listen to. All of us we are 18 presidential candidates. All of us will be saying the same thing. Nobody will say anything different. We are, we'll promise heaven. We'll promise everything. What is important is that among these 18, who can we trust that what he's saying he will do? Who can we say that whatever he says, we can go home, you see where somebody promised something, and he's delivering it. That is what is happening in Nigeria. Your commissioner came out, spoke about the importance of infrastructure. It is critical. I will come to River State to campaign, and I will tell them, but what I will tell people is that if I have opportunity of serving this country, the people of River State, the people of Niger Delta, will remain grateful to me because I will change Niger Delta. <laughs> then oil, this oil you will get from Niger Delta and River State, people will see it. What you are doing in Port Harcourt here is to bring back the firm of this city. You are trying to bring back Port Harcourt for what it used to be. And I thank you for that. If I have the opportunity, like I tell people, we will not serve you from Abuja. We will serve you from your state. We will come here not for visits. We will come here and stay with you listen to you, and be able to do what the state wants. But we'll come for campaign. Today, we're here to commission a project, and I thank you. I've listened to what you said, that I should advise labor people that they should be careful about the state. I will talk to 
them. Nyanda will negotiate. I say, oh God, so I'm going to stay in the Arab Goliath State, Arab Line Center. Is it not? If you leave state for them, it will leave further for us. So we will negotiate it. We will, you know you are in charge. And we will not quarrel with you. Anybody who quarrels with you doesn't know what he's doing. I will not try it. I'm begging. Please give us this one. Thank you all the worst one. We will come up for you. I will accommodate them in the other one. When they come, I will accommodate them. That one, we are sure. I assure you of our commitment to build a better Nigeria. Our past will not be our future. Those people are our past. And that represents the future of Nigeria. And I've told Nigerians, and I've told Nigerians, hold me responsible. I know what it takes to turn around this country. I will not give a school. I will change Nigeria. But when I come for campaign, you hear me. But all I want Nigerians to do, take it on tape that I said, I know the problem of Nigeria. Nigeria is not productive. River State have the biggest port. The deepest part of the ocean is in Portugal Ocean Terminal. That alone can give Nigeria a reasonable revenue. I said it before that every part of Nigeria I will give a future. I've told you not. The vast land is our next oil. Because we cultivate it. Nigeria must feed itself. And I've told the people of the Southwest, you'll be the financial center. The East will be a manufacturing hub. We will route the East to rivers where we will export goods from. So for that cause, will remain the export city of this country. We will do it. 